Today, we have an exciting topic for you, India versus Pakistan, a comparison. Where do both countries stand today? This is a comparative analysis of the economic progress of both nations. So, let's dive right in. Pakistan and India have had a long and complex history of conflict and tension since their independence from British colonial rule in 1947. But what about their economic progress, let's find out. For decades, Pakistan significantly outperformed India in many ways. In fact, between 1961 and 1993, Pakistan's economy grew nearly twice as quickly as India's. However, it is equally undeniable that India has reformed, while Pakistan has stagnated over the last 30 years. Let's start with some recent statistics. In September last year, India overtook the United Kingdom and became the world's fifth largest economy, while Pakistan was and still is struggling to stay afloat economically. According to the World Bank reports for FY 2023, India's economy is projected to grow by 6.4%, whereas Pakistan's growth is projected to be only 0.4%. That's a significant difference. India's Forex Exchange Reserves stand at a staggering $587.41 billion, as per data available with the Reserve Bank of India. Meanwhile, Pakistan's Forex Exchange Reserves are at $4 billion, showing a huge gap between the two nations. India's annual per capita income has witnessed a remarkable increase. It's estimated at $2,265 in 2022-23, up from $965 in 2014-2015, suggesting a growth of about 133%. On the other hand, Pakistan's per capita income has only increased by 28%, from $1,173 in 2014 to $1,505. When it comes to export volume, India is far ahead. Its yearly export volume is a massive $670 billion, while Pakistan's export volume stands at a mere $31 billion. India's share in the world's goods export is 2.0%, while Pakistan's is only 0.1%. News has been circulating that India recently launched its first fully made in India Mercedes electric car, and Apple Inc. opened its first retail store in the country, unfortunately, in contrast, high inflation in Pakistan has brought its manufacturing industry to the verge of collapse. In terms of inflation rates, India has been able to maintain stability, its retail inflation, minus one by the Consumer Price Index CPI, was recorded at 5.66% in the recent months, the lowest since December 2021. However, Pakistan's CPI jumped to a staggering 35.4% in March 2023, the highest. The interest rates in both countries also show a significant difference. Currently, the interest rate in India stands at 6.5%, while in Pakistan, it's a staggering 21% as of April 2023. Global rating agency Moody's downgraded Pakistan's sovereign credit rating, citing rising fragile liquidity and external position, which raises default risks. On the other hand, Moody's retained its sovereign ratings on India's economy with a stable outlook. The International Monetary Fund predicts that by 2027, India will become the world's fifth largest economy. With a GDP of roughly $5 trillion at market prices, Goldman Sachs projects that by 2075, Pakistan could become the world's sixth largest economy. Given appropriate policies and institutions, India's economic growth has outperformed Pakistan's. Despite Pakistan having a stronger economy in the early years of their independence, India's increasing forex exchange reserves, rising per capita income, and position as the world's fifth largest economy highlight its impressive progress. Conversely, Pakistan's economy has stagnated, with low forex exchange reserves and high inflation rates leading to a decline in its manufacturing industry. That's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this comparative analysis. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts on India and Pakistan's economic progress.